All right, we're going to have the ultimate AI coding assistant comparison. We have Cursor, we have Windsurf, Klein, Copilot, and VS Code. Now, first up, we have Cursor AI. It's basically VS Code on steroids. It's built specifically for AI pair programming, and it has a sleek UI, a natural language coding. It has inline chat. Okay, and context aware autocomplete. Now, the best part about it is that Cursor basically integrates GPT 4 and Claude at the same time. So, you're basically getting, okay, um, your multimodal support, right? And it remembers code context across files, and it's great for full stack developers and uh, refactoring heavy workflows. The downside is that it does have a slightly heavier RAM usage and limited plugin ecosystem for now. Okay, now next we have Windsurf. It is lightning fast. Okay, I can give it that first. And it's deeply integrated into the Replit Cloud uh, IDE. Now, what makes it actually shine is, you know, the instantaneous suggestions it makes, right? And you can do code search and ghostwriter style inline edits. It's basically perfect for anyone working in, in the browser. However, it does lack deeper project wide memory and it can feel limiting for large code bases or professional developers working outside Replit. So cursor, remember it has a really good memory. This one, not as much now we go to klein klein is basically the new kid in the block right now okay only has 1.7 million installs it's basically designed for developers who love speed and local first tools okay it runs a small model locally with optional cloud boost it's offline functionality guys it is unmatched okay and it's basically ideally and incredibly responsive it's good for quick tasks, solo projects, and or for you know developers who have privacy concerns. But what I would say where it falls short is complex refactoring or deeper um, uh, large language model powered features unless you connect it with external APIs. And next we have a Microsoft um, Copilot. And Copilot actually has leveled up. It now offers chat, as you can see. You can do pull request reviews, test generation, and uh, it's, it's still tightly integrated with VS Code and GitHub. And it's backed by a GPT Turbo uh, 4, and it's great for enterprise use, uh, you know, teams and automated workflows. Just beware, it does cost you $10 a month or $19 for enterprise. And uh, occasionally, uh, <laughs> they suggest you wrong codes. If you're not paying attention, it does make mistakes. It's not that up to par. So just keep that in mind. And lastly, we have VS Code without any assistant. So classic VS Code still, you know, reigns in performance and plugin flexibility. But without an AI assistant, you're doing everything yourself, right? It's great for control freaks, but not so much for speed but still uh, it is the foundation you can try it with uh, your github account you can use the ai features as well now they uh, have those so i would give you a, as a verdict i would say look cursor is the most advanced all-rounder for full-time devs if you're doing browser-based coding windsurf really smooth buttery smooth klein is uh, for people who are privacy focused and for offline work Klein is your go-to. Uh, if you're using enterprise teams or GitHub power user, Copilot, and uh, if you want full control, and if you want to do it with no AI or even use AI, you can do it purely with uh, VS Code. So if you found this helpful, make sure you smash that like button. Let me know which one you're going for and why. And I'll see you in the next one. Make sure you subscribe to find your solution.